What's going on, everybody? Well, here's my new plug-in. Uh, I've been meaning to get one of these for a long time. This is a the by Wave Central, the Paz Audio Frequency uh, Analyzer. So a lot of people use these different types. Uh, it just gives you the ability to match up what your ears are hearing, uh, and to, to be able to see what your ears are hearing. In other words, so uh, yeah, this helps you dial things in a little bit better, or to find uh, an annoying frequency or something that's lacking and just uh, target it real quick. So with that said, we're going to put this through its paces and see how good it is. Um, let's see, uh, this one over here to the left is the beginning of my uh, uh, all my plugins, and one to the right is at the very last. Uh, so I can hear, I can see everything that my plugins are doing here. So this is right to the left, before, to the right, after. Okay? So let's go through, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Or break out the tone generator here. Right over here. Let's slide this over to here. Right about there. Okay. So see the lines here, frequency lines. You have their 31, 62, 125, and so forth. We're gonna punch these numbers here into the frequ uh, the frequency generator here to see how close it is. All right. So I recommend getting headphones for this video here, because uh, especially when we get down to 31, you're not gonna hear it on the cell phone. So good headphones, a must. All right, we'll start off with 62 cycles. Let's see how close this uh, analyzer picks it up. Let's come over to here, my sound generator. Let's type in 62. Okay, here we go. And watch this line on the 62, see how close it is. Here we go. It's a little off. Okay, one thing I like about this, uh, you can freeze. All right, so there's that uh, 62. Let's zoom in. Better resolution. And closer. Okay, not bad. Soft a little bit. Zoom back out. Okay, let's go to 125. I'm unfreeze that. Set in 125. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's zoom in. Oh, wrong way. Okay, it's off a little bit. Okay, unfreeze, zoom back out. Okay, let's go to 250. Okay, here we go, 250. Okay, that looks like it's spot on. You betcha it is. Okay, zoom back out. Let's continue on. Let's get to 500. 500 cycles. Nope, oh, I'll pump that. Crap. Okay, here we go, 500. Okay, don't need to zoom in, that's spot on. Let's go to 1,000, or one kilohertz. Here we go. Okay, looks like it's off a hair. Oh, maybe not, okay, we're on. Okay, let's go to, what do you say, 2K? Spot on. 4,000. Pretty good. And lastly, eight. Awesome. I do 16 bit. Uh, I can't hear that high. <laughs> I'm getting old. Okay. Uh, all right. Headphone users. Let's do 31. You're not going to hear this on a cell phone. So bring out the subwoofers or headphones. Here we go. 31.
Okay, let's see how close it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty good. All right, so can, let's continue on with the testing and having fun here. So what I did down here, I put in a song. I put the, you know, frequency analyzer right there that's pinned. And then I have a, uh, where's my EQ? I put an EQ in. All right, so as the song is playing, you should be able to hear or see all the changes I'm making down here. Okay, for, here we're here, so I'll mute this. And where's the play button here? Okay. Okay, so this is fun. All right, I already did the video here, so uh, in the upcoming uh, next segment of this, I just you'll see me just jerking these real quick just to see the response of the frequency analyzer. So I'll leave with that. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, I'll check you later. Enjoy the video and make sure you strap on the headphones. And until next time, KP68 up here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, free and clear.